what's going on everybody just want to give a quick update as to something strange that's going on with this car um, I've done two runs since my last post one of them I got up to 96 point uh, I think it was 96.1 um, but I ran out of space on the road so now it's probably about 70% throttle so I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure that you know I could have taken it one over a hundred for sure so um, anyhow after I stopped on that run I realized that I had some of this um, like some of this stuff on there couldn't figure out where it came from and I realized that it was from the from the pads the pads that I got that are let me see Oh, here you go. They're from Hot Racing, and it was um, the graphite ones. So I guess the graphite couldn't handle the heat. I'm not sure what I had. I don't know if I had it too tight. So I backed off a little bit um, off the spring. I tightened it all the way, and I, you know, I let off a little bit how you're supposed to. And I went out, ran it again, and. I realized that uh, it wasn't running right. I knew. I knew right off the bat. So, came back. I think max speed was 63. But this is, I haven't cleaned it out yet. I want to show everybody. This is, when I stopped the car, it was actually smoking right from where the gears are at and the spur gear. So, of course, I checked the motor freaking out. But it was right from the see if I can focus it was right from the spur gear plate where the pads are at so what I did was I disassembled it and this is what I came up see all this that's all from the um, from the pads have completely completely gone down to almost nothing it was smoking hot not only that but look what happened to my plate I guess the heat cracked it and um, so that's never a good thing so this was the uh, heavy duty slipper system which is actually this plate that I had bought not sure so heavy duty but that broke off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the stock ones for now until I figure out what to do and I ordered in um, after asking a couple people they said you gotta go with with the um, with the slipper um, with the slipper pads so um, hopefully these hopefully these will will hold up they're pretty thick but anyhow um, I was talking to RC man and he was telling me that the um, that obviously that shouldn't be happening for one but I told him that my uh, my techno um, drive shaft when I have it in the car um, as you know, there's a little play in the drive shaft. Let me see if I can get it. Mm. Well, obviously, it's not on now, so. Ah, damn Velcro. But when there's play. When there's play in it, it moves like this when everything's connected. So what happens is this spur gear, this assembly right here, actually there's enough play for it to move. It moves like this about, I would say a quarter inch like that while the car is, um, while everything's assembled. So RC man 
is telling me definitely that's not it shouldn't have that much play so when the gears on there's still the contact never leaves but it does from a full perfect setting right here it probably slips off about that much so the car will still run it's always been like that i never thought it was a problem but i'm not sure if that's what's causing this but bottom line is i have to figure out what's going on before i start breaking some big some big parts but anyhow comment let me know what you guys think um is there something i'm doing wrong in here I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. This this looks loose. This looks loose right now. I'm not sure. I probably have this um, this nut right here the wrong way. But anyhow, I got to figure this out. This is driving me crazy. And um, yesterday, I actually drove like an hour and a half. I was going to a friend's house, and I was with the family, and it was out in the country. So I had found perfect roads. I'm talking about two miles straight road nothing in the way no traffic or anything and um, I ran it for about 10 seconds and the cars up in smoke so as you can imagine um, I don't think I can post a video cuz I think I was cussing up a storm but anyhow as you can see the pads are worn down I'm about to disassemble it and replace it I'm pretty sure this should not be happening but I've read forums, I've read, seen videos of people saying to tighten it all the way. I think, I think Jess, Jess actually, I think runs it real tight. Um, then some people say, if you do that, then you're going to have the problem that I'm having. Then others say that it's not tight enough, that that's why it's happened. And then some people say, well, you got to back off about a quarter after it's tightened all the way. And that won't happen so it's back and forth so anyways uh, rate comment subscribe you veterans out there that know what you're doing have gone through this give me some advice tell me what to check if tell me if this uh, if this is supposed to have this much play once it's on it moves I would say like an inch I mean it's it's a lot of play so anyhow let me know, please.